I love the do, silly do, do, songs. Do. <laughs> I love the silly songs. I love the silly songs, and I love like the jazzy, funky songs, like this one. But I don't like the lyric songs. Get, you don't like the lyrics. Get songs. songs with lyrics out of here. It's a shame because except you play mass Joker destruction. Now. Except mass destruction. All right. That is the exception. Well, we're going to see if uh, John Numbers is able to have some destructive powers against this Bayonetta or if Ray Luno is going to run away with it. Oh. So aggressive off stage. Look at this. Yeah, and I don't think That's John has dead? a jump. No, I, oh, I thought Ray Luno didn't have a jump. Oh, he did have a jump. Uh-oh. This is scary for John Numbers. Oh, my gosh. Ray Luno just covering every option that John has coming back to stage. There's the F smash. Uh, he mashed what? on F smash. Yeah, because the bullets come out if you hold it. So if, yeah. you're, if you're close enough, for the it's going to yep, it's gonna get some hits done. Yeah, that was, that was I want to say like that was like crazy and Oh, good. no. John wasn't ready for that tech. But at the same time, he still got F smash. So like it delayed the inevitable by like 0.5 seconds. Here we go. I mean, it didn't really do anything except just uh, put some damage on Ray Luno there. But you kind of need that. Wow. That's Ooh, what it Oh, that kill. <laughs> Ray Luno looking at the camera like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> looking like Jim from The Office. <laughs> Jim would play Bayonetta. Yeah, for real. Uh-oh. John back off stage, which a majority of the time you're like, oh, yeah, John Numbers is off stage. But right now you're like, oh, John Numbers is off stage. I mean, that was just a statement there for that first stock, being like, if you are going to be comfortable off stage, don't. I'm coming to get you. That's right. You're off yeah. stage, and you are dead. At least that or at least 80%. Yeah, for real. And Ray Luna running off looking for the back air, but doesn't find anything. Well, John Numbers was very smart and actually like low profiling that mm. because every Bayonetta will ABK from Bludge. Yeah. Everyone. <laughs> find me one that doesn't, and I'll show you a liar. Doesn't exist. Uh-oh. The bullets are coming out. Ooh, John opting to air dodge back to stage instead of go to the ledge, and it like it pays off. That, that was pretty surprising. I mean, at this point, Ray Luna just really needs a back air. Oh, looking for a down smash, maybe. Ooh, finds a back air, but the weak spot. Yeah. yeah, good sour spot there, saving him. There's another back air, but the wrong way. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but at least it gets John off stage once more. And there's another back air, but on John number shield. There's Ooh. another back air, but it was a whiff. Ray Luna, you're not <laughs> playing Cloud. Hold on, I think he's looking for another back air. <laughs> John, <laughs> John knows it and is able to find the kill. And now Ray Luno has to look to close the stock. 47% oh. off a neutral air into an up smash. Yeah, deep breathing is something else, you know? I got to oh, go do that'll yoga. Kill. Yes. Oh! Well, almost. Good DI, John Numbers. It's almost like he plays this game a lot. So much. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, okay. You had it. You had Ooh. it. The John pre air dodge. You had the up smash right there, but unfortunately, looking for something else, couldn't find it. Oh, oh my God. You got to tech that. The neutral get off. Uh, that was a breakdown from Ray Luno at the end. I feel like like sometimes you miss something. Like he might have realized, oh, I missed that air dodge. Yeah. And then it's just a complete like breakdown. You're like, oh my God, I'm so cooked. Well, here's the thing. One of those uh, first interactions there. So he misses it, right? And he's waiting. He's waiting for John to. Oh, no. He immediately got up. He didn't mm. even wait. Mm. Honestly, I think he should have waited. Yeah. He, he would have. Uh, that forward smash would have missed. You, then you could do a get up attack. <laughs> even John was like, oh, okay. I mean, yeah. That was a very sensual shot. <laughs> <laughs> John Numbers, it does almost like, look like a V-neck. If not, it's, it's a crew neck. Yeah. It's still pretty good. I think Ray Luno just has to be very careful with exactly how he pressures shield. Because as you saw with, the, with those forwarders right there on the replay, like if you if you hit one and you misspace it, you're going to get cooked mm. by those knees. John has so many great out of shield options. Mm. But this is a great option for a counter pick. Ray Luno did fantastic against a helper here. I'm loving the Battlefield counter picks today. Very awesome. And and I don't think we've seen a PS2 game yet. Oh, thank God. I, don't, don't give him ideas. Yeah, I love counter pick stage, stages. I'm a believer in a bigger stage list and more bands. That's a, Not that's too a, many bands. That's a conversation for uh, after this set, all right? Listen, John has a lot. Oh, of, wow, actually wow. jumped into the up smash. That, that stayed out for so long. I know. Listen. We Fit Trainer got a manicure. Those nails are sharp, oh. but not as sharp as those spikes. Oh, John Numbers back with the vendetta. Got the download. Ray Luna going off stage that time, but John prepared, finds a down air. Good work. We're not seeing a lot of down smashes here from Ray Luna at ledge, not even trying to get that uh, two frame. From your lips to his ears, there's the down Mwah. smash at ledge. Mwah. Thank oh. you, thank you. Maybe looking for the extended hitbox on the soccer ball with that F smash, but not finding it. I do like that use of the downward ABK to actually just bounce off the shield. Yeah. Oh, John, a little cheeky up smash. 
Good. Oh. Punish him for doing that. Don't That's let him. right. It's basically a taunt. It's a trade. Uh oh. Ooh, a good bait from both actually, John. But missing that grab. We fit trainer can be just a little stubby. Yeah. Ooh. And I don't think Ray Luna can actually afford to really burn a lot of their witch time uh -oh. here against John. Uh oh. And this could be curtains for Ray Luna as it looks like it's their last stock on winner's side. Yeah, John numbers. I don't know. He's cooking. Oh! oh! Kill him! Yeah. But don't even wait for it. I wish he did something cool, though. That is cool. That what was do you an F-Smash. Yeah, an Bayonetta's smash. forward smash finally hit something. <laughs> but yeah, hey, you know, maybe you get the shield break. And that's like a mental break as well. And you find, you find a quick stock on John Numbers here. I mean, Bayonetta needs it. These low percent combos are her bread and butter. Yeah. John up to 47. This is when stuff might get a little tricky. Eh, more like 85%. Yeah. Oh. Okay. John just wants to end this set. Yeah, for real. I'm ready for grins. Oh, John I... going deep. Soccer ball hitting. Ooh, uh -oh. Great coverage. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, good that... punish. Good punish. Racking up the damage. All right, here we go. Looking for the down smash, can't find it, but way to get out of uh, that ledge trap situation. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I yeah. like that use of actually the downward ABK to bounce off the soccer ball as well, but here we go. What but do we see as a ledge trap? If he missed that soccer ball, though, he's getting F smash. Uh oh, don't do that. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a crazy play. That was a crazy. That made no sense. <laughs> I mean, listen, it clanks with everything. Uh oh, double jump burns. But we're back at ledge. Oh, was nice looking ABK. for a back air. Couldn't find it. All right, Ray Luna can still clutch this out, but really needs to go off stage for this kill. Yeah, I don't think they're going to find it for a ledge trap. 120, oh. 127, 138. Okay, now you now you really got to play safe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> looking for a back air. John charging, deep breathing oh in my God. his face. That in killed again? Face. Killed Dumpling King. Killed Ray Luna. This that, man's down air is crazy on stage. That was a crazy bait by John. He's I'm this, I'm the charge deep breathing right in front of you. Right. And when you try to get baited, that's crazy. And it probably a, like a very harsh DI mix up because you miss, you try to dash back, and then you get hit by that weak spot and you're DIing out. Yeah. <laughs> he just has to laugh at that. Yeah. That's the face of everybody who has a good time against John Numbers. Yeah. Yeah. No one ever has a bad time against John Numbers. That's no. so true. Well, honestly, like when I play him and I get cooked pretty hard. But it always feels like an experience. I'm like, I'm learning something every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The John Numbers VOD reviews for us lo lesser people go crazy. They go crazy. I mean, I've asked John for some advice after I played him. He's like, no, he's don't get hit. No, he's capping. He knows everything. <laughs> every, he does, he does. Every single frame of that game is downloaded into his brain. Y you know what quota is uh, ingrained in my brain from John? What? Everybody's bad at this game. Except him. Except, Except him. Except him because he moves on to grand finals. Woo! Woo! All right, but right now it looks like we are going to see Devin versus M Gaming. Let's go. All right, so it looks like we do get a Kirby versus the PT. Now, Devin may be eating his words here because he has always said that Kirby is a trash character. He's convinced Vinny to pick something else up. Like Vinny. Whoa. I know. Vinny. I know. Like he can actually convince Vinny to pick something else up? Yeah, he's Who's like. Who's Vinny picking up? Uh, well, Vinny's got a really good uh, fox now. Oh, that's hype. Get that, you know what, Devin? You did you did the world justice with that. But it looks like Devin isn't doing his words justice here. Yeah. And I actually disagree with Devin, who, if he thinks Kirby's a bad character, I think Kirby is secretly a kind of good character. 